Hello everybody, my name is Robert and this is Review Clue. Now today I wanted to do a quick video on iOS 14, in particular how you can use the Shortcuts app to really customise your iPhone like never before. This is a fairly new feature and it is on iOS 14 only, but it's a way that you're able to add custom icons to your apps and you can launch them in a slightly different way. So what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to walk you through exactly how to do this step by step and show you just what my homepage looks like. And I've gone with a very minimalistic design, but you can of course do whatever you want. iOS 14 is an incredible update from Apple in terms of having all these new widgets and it's just a really nice way to customise your phone. Before we get into this video though, if this is the first time you're seeing my face on your screen, then please do consider dropping down in the description below, maybe subscribing, leaving a comment, or even liking the video. All of these things really help me to keep producing this content for you guys. So let's get right into what you're going to need for this tutorial. You're of course going to need an iOS device with iOS 14 or higher. Most iPhones, I think after iPhone 6, have the 14 update, so you're pretty good there. You're also going to need some icons. Now you can find these online. There are specific packs you can buy for iOS 14 if you want. I'll leave some links in the description down below for some icon websites uh, like Icons 8 and such. You can choose your icons from there. They're normally free and royalty free or you can get really creative and make your own. Now at some point I want to make all of my own but I just don't have the time right now and that's pretty much all you're going to need. So let's jump over to the iPhone and I'm going to show you my setup and just how I achieved it. Let's go. So here we are on my iOS 14 homepage. I'm of course going to blow this middle section because that's my personal calendar and I don't want you guys knowing what, what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. But you'll get the general idea. I've gone with an incredible minimalistic look here. All of these icons I will link down below from where I got them. But each icon is representative of the application, for example. I can open up my phone there, I can open up my contacts and my calendar and these are all things that I'm going to obviously blur any details that I don't want you guys knowing but you get the general gist and idea. But what you're also going to notice here is there is one slight caveat to this method and that is this shortcuts app that shows up for a split second and it's a shame but I th I think it's a real small price to pay for this beautiful, elegant design that you can really get. So what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to pull down from the top here and I can choose what app I want to open. So in this case, we're going to go with Shortcuts. Once we've opened up the Shortcuts app, we can go ahead and click the plus icon in the top corner. This is the new Shortcut 15. We're not going to worry too much about naming it. Add a shortcut and what we're going to type in here is Open app and we can see it there under actions so I'm going to tap open app and I'm going to decide what app I want to open here so for the moment let's say the camera app now what we're not going to do here is hit next what we're actually going to do is hit the three dots in the top corner and we're going to choose a color for mine I've chosen this gray color but you can choose a different color if you like as well but I'm going to go ahead and do that gray for now and then we're going to hit add home screen. We're going to remove the name by just pricking X. You can choose a custom name if you like, but personally I like the look of it having no name at all. So then what we're going to go ahead and do is tap here, and then choose file. And we can of course see all of these lovely images that I've downloaded. So this one is of course the camera, so I'm going to find the camera and then click add. And as you can see, that's been added to my home screen. If I pull back now, we can see the icon has appeared on my home screen. We can tap that and it opens up my camera very, very quickly. And then when we want to add another one, we just go back to that shortcuts app, plus, add, open app, choose whichever app we want to open. Let's say Facebook this time. We can also add other things for it to do as well if we decide. But for now, we'll just keep it at that. Of course, I like that grey colour because it just fits my aesthetic. Add to home page. We choose a file. Um, I actually don't have a Facebook icon downloaded right now, but we'll pretend it's the Apple TV icon. Then we hit add to home page. 
and there it is. But what I've forgotten to do, you'll notice, is rename my shortcut. So we have that name underneath and that gives you a general idea of what it can look like. But we'll go ahead and add home page again. Remove name. Choose the file, Apple TV. Done. And there it is on my home page there as well. So that's pretty much it. Let's jump back to me for the outro. And boom, there it is, guys. That's literally how easy it is to really customize your home screen and make it yours. So you can play with alpha channels on your icons as well to give a different effect. You can obviously change your color. You can add some fun names. But let me know in the comments down below, what are you doing with your homepage? How does yours look? So maybe post some image files. I'd love to see what you guys are doing with your homepages that maybe I can borrow some ideas from. Anyway, I, I just want to say we are, I think, one subscriber away when I'm recording this from 300 subscribers, and that's insane. 300 subscribers is a super exciting number for me. Uh, it means we're getting that one step closer to 1,000 subscribers, which is my like end goal here. Hitting a thousand will be a dream. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more of them, please do consider liking, commenting, subscribing, all of that jazz. And I will catch you for my regular video on Saturday, which is going to be an interesting one. It's going to be a review of the Teotronics router. You'll remember a little while ago I did an unboxing of it. I've been using it for a little while and I think I'm now at a point where I can review this thing competently. Anyway, guys, my name has been Robert. This has been Review Clue and I will catch you in the next one. Adios.